Hey guys, it's Kylie and I'm back with another video. This is going to be a pin video. Um, some of the stuff is already out because I started filming it and the memory card filled up so I like, had to restart. I only got a little bit into it so it's going to show how I store my pins. So I store them on four boards. One, two, three, four. They're up in like my office -y storage area. I'll do a video probably of that. Um, I split them up into different categories. So, this first category up here, let me zoom in, I'll get close, is booster pins and, um, like, mystery packs and stuff that comes in, pack, like, multiples of it. Then down here I have Hey Mickey pins, and then I have my open edition, all limited release, everything is in that one Chippendale section. Um, my park pin. There's a little overlap between the categories on which category they can fit in. Um, then my limited edition and limited release. And then finally, my open edition pins that don't really fit into the group pins. And then Lastly, I have my traders. And then I also have some traders in here. I'm moving them into this book. So when I organize my pins, I go through like a step and I say, okay, do they fit into the Chippendale section? Oh, they don't fit into that. Then do they, are they limited release or limited edition? Oh, they're not that. Then are they park? And if they're, if they're one of these categories, I put them on that board. And if they're not park, then I go over here to this board and I say, okay, they're either hidden, are they hidden Mickey or are they a booster or like, um, mystery pack kind of pin. And then they go up there and if they're none of those, then they end up on this board with that. And usually below that, like in this open section down here, is usually where I have all my traders, but I'm getting my book ready for Christmas, at Christmas time. Just because I have free time now, so it's a little early, but... We're going away soon, and I have other stuff I have to get done before we go away. So I'm slowly getting my book ready for pin trading while we're there for Christmas. Um, yeah, so this is how I store my pins. This is a quick video, but yeah. Thank you for watching. Close up all the pins. If you have any question about any of the pins, feel free to comment it below, and I will answer it. I'm like, where'd I get them? Or any questions? So these are the park pins. And into my Chippendale, it starts with my lim more limited edition ones at the bottom. Limited release, and then into more of the open edition ones. This one the paint chipped on, I'm kind of bummed. But the paint chipped on that one. Um, yeah. Here's all my, these are food and wine, and make, um, Mickey's Not So Scary, and some other just random ones, some Star Wars ones, um, more food and wine, puzzle piece ones, road races, some PWPs, the top. And then the only other place that I have pins is this pin board down here. Um, it's a frame set that my aunt got me um, when they went to Disney. And they look just like regular pins, but if I just take like this regular Marie pin, it's just like booster pack pin, regular size pin. It's pretty big. Like this is pretty small compared to the Pluto pin. Like it's a good, they're good size pins and nice pins. So, um, Mickey's not that big and either is the tank, but these ones are definitely I think this Pluto is huge. So yeah. This is how I store my pins. Check out some I also go to the back there, this chip and makeup container. I got as an FBM cruise. Um and I keep and I keep all my pinbacks in there. It's kinda hard to see because they're black on the inside, but all my pinbacks. 
So yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about any of the pins, just let me know. Um, be sure to check out some of my other pin videos. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications for more of my videos. Um, for December, I'm uploading every day around 2. So check out those videos, and thank you for watching. Bye.